What do we mean by responsibility today? Nietzsche is still very up to date in his critique of the dominant notion of responsibility, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because if this critique is still so current, it's because the world hasn't changed much. My name is Rodrigo Guim, anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. For Nietzsche, guilt exists only when we are convinced of it. All guilt is just that, of convincing, of belief, and fundamentally of a created morality, a morality that is nothing more than fictional. Responsibility in the dominant way in which this notion presents itself today in Western and westernized societies is based only on a dominant culture of thought that has the subject as the foundation, as the essential substance of being, or in teleological causality. The modern subject is one who is subject to a truth about himself, who acts from an essence, from a truth about his being. At the origin of all the actions of the modern Western civilized subject, is his truth. If he is a subject with a being capable of the good, or, or a subject of goodness, a good citizen, as they say today in Brazil, then he acts and promotes only the good, supposedly. This being is a cause. He is also a free subject, since good is seen as an individual choice based on his private subjectivity, which is his essence. He will be held responsible for his actions because if he is aware of himself, in charge of himself, it is declared that this individual makes an individual choice for good or for evil. This individual who is also a subject of liberal or neoliberal political culture must obey his being as a way to escape oppression and as a way of not causing oppression. The liberal political culture is a depoliticized culture because for it, the actions in the world come only from private individuals and not from social, cultural and historical legacies. The whole problem of criminality, as Nietzsche and Foucault showed, will be understood in these Western and Westernized societies as a problem of problematic individuals who choose evil over good. And an entire use of institutions will be made to, to just safeguard individuals and their private interests against the interests of other private individuals. History and the social are at the bottom or don't exist for this dominant liberal political culture. Against this culture, Nietzsche writes, citation, nobody is responsible for their actions. Nobody is responsible for their being. To judge means to be unfair. This is also true when the individual judges himself. This thesis is as clear as sunlight. However, everyone prefers to return to shadow and untruth for fear of the consequences. End of citation. Now, what would be the consequences of taking no responsibility for ourselves and everyone else as subjects supposedly conscious of their actions. It would be having to face the fact that free will does not exist. That the idea of free will is a discourse with effects of power. That the so-called free subject is so-called so that he can be held accountable, guilty, judged and punished as an individual and society and its institutions can continue to function in the same way. May the black genocide continue to kill, while the discourse on vagabonds and criminals prevents the scrutiny of institutions, of culture, economics and politics.
the individual for Nietzsche can only be free when he frees himself from guilt, when not only does he no longer understand himself as the origin of his actions, as these are never fully conscious and controllable, as well as he's not responsible in the way of guilt. The responsibility that Nietzsche seeks is one without guilt, and therefore without universal morality. Ethics is practice without universal rules. The will to truth that links responsibility to guilt is a will to nothingness, because guilt is nothing. It's just a human, all too human creation, a creation of times when you don't have the courage to be what you are. Guilt is unnatural. Nature has no opinion on us. Life owes us nothing. Duty needs to be overcome if we want to talk about real freedom and not be stuck with the idea of reactive and slanderous freedom of oneself and of the world. Professor Osvaldo Jacoya Jr. in the book Nietzsche against Kant asks, citation, under what conditions can we assign an act to its agent? In what sense can we consider an individual subject responsible for his actions? End of citation. Responding that the subject's actions derive from a will internal to that subject is a common practice of institutions that seek to attribute to the subject his individual responsibility. In doing so, institutions declare society, its norms, its subjectivities, that is, the way in which these societies produce subjects. They declare all of this, plus their political economy, their laws and customs, they declare all of this innocent. Some subjects, of course, will be held more accountable than others. In Brazil, the poorer, the more black, etc., the more responsible for their actions the subjects will be considered, because they were already attributed an evil being before acting, whatever their practical action. All subalternized subjects are left to be condemned in advance as subjects who have a will to evil within. Says Nietzsche, citation, What can be our doctrine, the one for which no one gives man his qualities, neither God, nor society, nor parents or ancestors, nor himself? The absurd idea that we repudiate was taught by the name of intelligible freedom, by Kant and perhaps even already by Plato. Nobody is responsible for the fact of existing in this or that way, in this or that condition, in this or that environment. We cannot exclude the fatal character of one's being from the fatal character of everything that has been and everything that will be. The fact is not the consequence of a particular intention, a will, an end. It is not an attempt to reach a human ideal, an ideal of happiness, an ideal of morality. It is absurd to want to push your essential being to any distant purpose. We were the ones who invented the notion of end. In reality, there is no end. We are necessary. We are a fragment of fatality. We are part of a whole. We exist in that whole. There is nothing that can judge, evaluate, compare, condemn the whole. But outside the whole, there is nothing. Let no one be taken any more responsible, that the way of existing can no longer lead to a prime cause, that the world, neither as a sensorium nor as a spirit, be one more unit. This and only this is the great liberation. That is why, and only for this reason, that the innocence of becoming has been restored. End of citation. The desire to tie everything to the responsibility of a subject, or even of several subjects, based on their interiorities, 
is only a legacy of the dominance of Christian morality and metaphysical philosophy as dominant cultures still today in our Western and Westernized societies. Restoring the innocence of becoming does not mean failing to take responsibility for yourself or failing to hold others responsible for their actions. That's to say, quite the contrary, to make accountability in a much greater way, much more linked to what actually generates actions in the world, that's the way we should go. Every individual and every form of accountability of individuals is already charged with multiple and contradictory responsibilities. The web of responsibility encompasses the whole. This does not mean that we fail to act. On the contrary, we have much more to do when we understand the web of responsibilities without morality, without the unnatural feeling, without wanting revenge for life, without confusing revenge and justice, or morality and ethics, says Nietzsche, citation. Therefore, it is in the relaxation of our belief in the absolute responsibility of the person, in the reprehensible character of the individual, that consists our progress of leaving barbarism. End of citation. Well, people, thanks for watching. I want to thank all my supporters on Patreon and on YouTube. If you want to know more and to know about the courses I give, click the link in the description of the video and see you next time.